Great to be here. Thank you. So that technology is going to transform our lives beyond recognition mm. in the next two decades is a given. What, according to you, are the top three most profound changes? All right, well, I'll give you four. Okay. All right. So, uh, first is obvious is artificial intelligence, um, and you can sort of classify robotics under that because any uh, robot that has autonomy must have a form of AI, and so AI, um, you know, is is going to disrupt the way we work. Uh, it's uh, it's going to shift uh, labour patterns. Uh, you know, in some parts of the world, um, you know, 40% of jobs could be affected by this. In markets like China, it could be much higher, and so AI is going to be a significant impact. Uh, second uh, tier of disruption will be more of a social one around embedded technologies. And so as computing devices become smaller and more powerful, uh, they'll become more and more embedded in the world. So voice-based smart assistants or a, a personal AI, if you like, will be something we'll, we'll, most of us will use initially through our smartphone, but then integrated into the world around us. And then the next major technology leap or computing technology will be wearable smart glasses, augmented reality smart glasses. Mm -hmm. Third disruptor is health tech. So uh, gene therapy, gene editing, so we can uh, you know, extract uh, DNA uh, diseases, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, cystic fibrosis, heart disease and so forth. Um, then use of sensors combined with AI, like a heart rate sensor like I have in my Apple Watch tied to an AI that can predict if I'm going to have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And then of course augmenting, augmenting technology into our bodies to give us longevity and remove disabilities. Mm -hmm. So you put all of these together and what you end up with and the fourth disruptor is smart economies, smart cities, smart companies. And this is how uh, economies uh, and companies will compete in the, the world of the future. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, so obviously some of these changes will be good, some of these will be bad. Net, net, where will we end up? Net positive or net negative uh, as a society? You know, when uh, the uh, World Economic Forum and Pew Research and others uh, did a massive research, uh, research on this a few years ago, they interviewed futurists and technologists from around the world, sci-fi authors and so forth, engineers, and the world was split. You know, half uh, yeah. the group sort of said it's going to be disastrous, and the other half said it's going to enter into a new uh, era for mankind. Um, the one thing we've seen in the past is that as new technologies come along, like the internet, it destroys jobs, but it also creates new jobs. Yes. The internet, for every job it destroyed, it created 2.6 new ones, according to McKinsey data. But with AI, it's going to disrupt human process. So. In the past, we moved out of agrarian societies into manufacturing, so out of agriculture, manufacturing. Then when we automated manufacturing, we moved people into white collar and blue collar service sectors. But when our AI disrupts service industries, where do we move to? And that's the issue. So it is a bit of a structural change to supply and demand curve economics around AI, where AI will be able to meet infinite supply without increases in labour force. So I do expect that ultimately on a net-net basis, it's going to result in uh, um, you know, technology-based displacement. Hmm. So what's the solution? Well, um, you know, a lot of the Silicon Valley guys are talking about universal basic income and models like that. And I think... You think that, universal basic well, income is, is a good idea? I, I think unless you have something like that, you're going to have social unrest. But the alternative is to say, we have to really think about how to differentiate humans and how humans can compete with AI. So there's two ways you can do that. You can really focus on creative humanities, things that make us uniquely human, that exactly. a machine would find difficult to do, um, you know, uh, artisan type uh, services and so forth. The other approach is to say, and this is, you know, the Elon Musk approach is let's put chips in our brain so that we can incorporate AI and these, you know, this augmented intelligence into our own uh, humanity so we can compete. I, I'm, I think we'll end up doing some of that, but I don't think it will be to compete. I think it will be just to uh, further humanity. Ultimately, I think that. Um, the way we've defined our life over the last hundred years with the uh, Industrial Revolution since then, that work is at the centre of our life, I think that philosophically will have to change. We hope you have enjoyed this video and for more videos go to freakphysics.com.